What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Ro Ryan Edwards <laughs> is, uh, is officially going back to jail, you guys. Right the jail. Um, and you know why? It's so funny because earlier this afternoon, I just filmed a video about... Um, <laughs> about the the brawl that went down at the bar with Ryan Edwards and his girlfriend and everything like that. I did, I'm about to put it out for you guys. Um, and in the video, we're talking about like how crazy it is that Ryan would do this when the judge has given him chance after chance after chance. It's just not a good look. The judge is looking biased as hell, shady as hell. And like, you know, like he can face disciplinary action, in my opinion, for allowing a person like this to be freely roaming the streets, you know? And lo and behold, Ryan had an appearance in court today in response to him. Um, he was driving. He was uh, driving under the influence and he had a simple possession charge as well. Um, and this judge had actually dropped another charge that he had on his record, which was a controlled substance charge from the same arrest. Um, and meanwhile, after doing him a solid for this, guess what happens? Ryan just continues to just behave recklessly around the city. He caught another charge for driving like 30, uh, like pretty much double the speed limit in a residential zone, which happens to be the same area where like the judge lives as well. Like the judge and his parents live in a similar area, like up the street from one another. And Ryan was running around, uh, running around, zipping it and doing it there, driving at ridiculous speeds. And so that was another thing that happened after the judge already excused him. So now um, that that video came out of he and his girlfriend uh, being kicked out of a bar because they got rowdy and everything, the judge decided that like enough was enough. Um, and in addition to that, apparently Ryan had not been like, you know, doing certain things that he was supposed to as part of his like release agreement. So for example, um, the district attorney said, listen, we need to see if Ryan can even pass a drug screening at this point, because judging by his behavior, something is off. Let's go ahead and see if there are some substances to blame here. So they asked um, for him to get one done that day in court. Um, and they're like, the last one he did was almost a month ago. It was on November 8th. So let's just test him and see how it's going. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the results of that. The results are going to come out on Friday. Okay, you guys. So stay tuned for news on it. Do you think he's going to pass the test or do you think he's going to fail? Personally, I think he's going to fail. Um, and so then the attorney goes on to say it raises concern he could fail a drug screening. If he's not doing CAT as outpatient, he's not doing the support groups. Can we test him in court today, judge? So what is Ryan doing if he's not doing outpatient treatment and if he's not doing the support groups that he was, um, you know, asked to do as part of his release? He, like David Eason, is unemployed. So what is he too busy doing that he wouldn't be able to do this? It's not like he's like a full-time single dad or anything like that. The baby mamas do the the the, the boatload of the child rearing for him. So it just doesn't make any sense. The only reason he's not doing these things is because he feels above these things. And um, the judge has been letting him get away with murder for so long that he felt like he could just continue on to not do anything that he was ordered to do, right? Um, but to Ryan's surprise, the judge this time said, yeah, go ahead and test him if you can get someone down here. And an hour later, Ryan was called to the stand. And this is where the district attorney, who has been on his ass like white on rice, I love her, says, you know, he is late for his Vivitrol shot. He was supposed to get it on November 17th. And we know what happens when you go longer than a month. Your chances of uh, relapsing uh, increase, right? So this is why we really need to get Ryan drug tested. He is almost a month out from the shot. So now when we summarize all the things that Ryan is not doing, he's not getting his addiction shot to help keep him on the wagon. He's not doing his um, outpatient treatment and he's not going to the support groups. Again, why? What is the reason that this 30 something year old man with no job and no kids to look after nah, most, you know, most of the time is not able to go ahead and do these things and take care of himself, right? Um, so then what is being said next is that the rehab representative believes it's way past overdue. That would correspond with his behavior at the bar. He was drug screened yesterday. Um, 
So there we go. At um, the rehab representative is saying that it's way past overdue for Ryan to get his like you know next shot when it comes to helping to curb his addiction. And so um, the DA also said that the state is requesting for Ryan to be taken back into custody if he doesn't pass his screening. And um, he agreed to submit a report on his continuing care and follow up, but he hasn't done that. So now add that to the list of things that Ryan hasn't done. And again, the question is why? Ryan has nothing but time on his hands. He had the time to go and get that nasty tattoo on his hand. He had the time to go and take those freaky deaky photos for the gram. He's got the time to constantly be posting on his Instagram stories. He's got the time to be at the bar with his girl. So why is he not doing these things, right? There literally is no excuse whatsoever. So um, then the DA says that if Ryan does not submit that report by Friday, proving that he went to Alcoholics Anonymous, and then if he fails his drug screen, the state is going to file that petition to get him back in jail. But the gag is the judge is already sick of Ryan at this point. And the judge is going to say, you know what, just, uh, just put him into custody. Like this is a direct quote from the son who had a reporter there. He is going into custody. He was told to do it. My patience is gone. You had chance after chance after chance. The results will be back Friday. Ryan wanted to speak. He goes, your honor, can I speak? And the judge says, no, you can't. And that's it handcuffed and taken out of the courtroom, and he will have to return to court on Friday, December 8th. Good. I'm happy because the judge at this point was being pathetic. He was being a, he was endangering his community by allowing Ryan Edwards to be on the loose with all those charges he has for driving under the influence, speeding, reckless driving, things like that, right? He was He even got off easy for completely destroying and trashing his children's home. Everything. You know, remember that video I did? This is like maybe like in October or never, November, I'm like, listen, I, I low-key think Ryan and the judge are hunching or something for him to be able to get off so easily. Look at all the things he did, right? All that driving under the influence, all that speeding, destroying his, uh, his children's home, right? Um, what else did he do? Harassing Mackenzie, all sorts of things, stalking, putting up all these nasty, vulgar messages about her. All that is well and good. But as soon as Ryan steps on the town with another person, a woman no less, the judge loses his patience and wants to lock him up? I'm just saying. How convenient. How convenient. It makes you wonder what Ryan had been doing to stay out of jail all this time. If this is what it takes for the judge to lose his damn patience with Ryan. Ryan had already had so many charges against him when he did this, but this didn't make the judge go, you know what? It's time to lock this man up. He is a danger. I'm done. You know, him being out on the town with a, with another woman is what does it for me. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's a little interesting. Is it not interesting? Because I find it very interesting, actually. Listen, I'm happy that <laughs> I'm happy that Ryan is being put back in jail. He needs to be in jail for his own good and for the good of his community. He's he shouldn't be out. Um, but I'm just saying, listen, my theory is looking pretty strong here. It's looking pretty strong. All the things this guy did while on probation and him being at the bar you know, getting pushed out of the bar, not even punching people or nothing like that is what is what makes the judge snap. All right, judge. All right. Just say you don't want no competition. That's fine. So anyway, guys, um, he will be back in court on the Friday. Um, that's when we will have the results of his drug testing. And we'll see, has he been keeping clean? Again, let me know in the comments whether you think he's been keeping clean or not. I do not think he has been. He is moving around like somebody with nothing to lose and people with nothing to lose. Do not fight hard to stay sober, in my opinion. Do not fight hard for anything um, and make self-destructive choices. So that's why I think that he is back on that stuff. And of course, I also think he's back on it because of the amount of time he's taken between his shots. He was already supposed to have gotten it by now. They're saying he's long overdue for it. He's not going to his AA meetings. He's not keeping up with like the treatment plan, literally nothing. So why wouldn't he just do a little bit more of, you know, 
the heroining or whatever else it is that he is into, right? If he is just going to go ahead and fall right off, he might as well just, you know, be doing all that stuff, in my opinion. So that's why I think that he just went ahead and has been doing all that stuff. According to The Sun, by the way, before I let you guys go, Ryan's mom was not in court, and I believe this is the first time in all of his court madness that he's uh, put his family through over the years that she was not there for a court date. So that is rather interesting. Perhaps she had a prior commitment. It's really difficult to constantly keep up with your jailbird son. Um, and the dad was there. I gotta ask, like, how do people do this? Honestly, like, again, I say this all the time. Like, this is my nightmare. This is like my nightmare. You know, like kids that turn out like Ryan Edwards or Janelle Evans, like, please, Lord, you know, it sounds like a freaking nightmare. It's the ultimate birth control, seeing how some people turn out. Um, because just the amount of stress and drama they put on their elderly parents with like just all of this foolishness that they're always like involved in, it makes me sad. Larry should be out there golfing and drinking three to four beers, okay? Not following his child to court all the time. Mimi Jen should be at the bingo hall perhaps even at the theater, maybe even quilting, you know, doing nice things for herself. Um, not keeping up with her son too, right? And then like, you've got Barbara, she should be on a cruise somewhere. But instead, what is she spending her golden years doing? Raising her daughter's kids, both kids, right? Like not just Janelle's, but like her other daughters, you know, apparently off too. Um, and she lost custody of her son Atlas to Barbara, like, you know, and then like, of course, getting dragged by uh her daughter Janelle all over the internet as well like I'm sorry but this is not the life I think these people signed up for and I find it really really sad my heart goes out to them and all other parents of children like this lord anyway guys let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat that's all for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye